hey 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 welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is joya monet and yes we are closing out october's budget in november <laughs> the reason i did not do it in my november budget reset video is because my month does not start until november 7th and my month technically runs from the 7th through the 6th instead of the 1st through the 30th so we are going to close out today is november the 6th and um i will also be doing some unstuffing on my bills and expenses some cash condensing all of the things let's jump into it i have my ipad over here to the left so that i can get my actual numbers hopefully you guys aren't shaking <laughs> but so for the actual numbers for the budget uh paycheck excuse me is um one thousand eight hundred six dollars and fifteen cents i'm so sorry you guys i did not properly introduce myself my name again is joya i am in my 30s i am single child free i am debt free i work from home as a medical billing supervisor and i live with my mother you can check the description box for that information so going into rent and what i am going to do is i'm actually going to unstuff as i go through my actual i have some new binders <laughs> i got these binders from taylor budgets during her sale but taylor budgets here on youtube she had a sale back in may and i was actually looking to get these for a while and I bought the binders with gift cards that I got from my job that they gave me for my birthday. So free 99 pretty much for your girl. <laughs> um, and I use prop money. All of my money is in my checking savings accounts. I will leave a link to the video of me transitioning from real money to prop money in either the description or I will link it in the cards. So rent $700 and that's the actual. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 650, and 700. And going into internet, um, it was actually $210.94. So I will be taking out $211. So 100, 200. To 10 and I will be doing 220 and I will have to give myself back money when I have the change 228 minus I'm sorry 220 minus 211 so I will need to give myself back nine dollars and actually because I have prime money I will make my own change so this is the binder that I use for all of my prop money. I created my own little dashboard. I hope there's no glare. Um, there we go. And this was actually my self-care binder, but um, I have turned this into the binder that houses all of the denominations for my prop money. So I will put this over to the side and um, I will get $9 out of here. So $9. And we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 that I am going to put back in here. And eventually I'm going to put it over into my buffer envelope, which is in the very back. Uh, but I want to condense this first. So um, moving on to cell phone. Yeah, cell phone was $96, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 92, 94, 95, 96. The rent, um, cell phone, and there is a subscription. I transfer that over to my mom's bank account um, because that comes out of her, like her credit card. Moving on to car insurance it's pending um i pay all my bills except for the life insurance and the other three on my credit card so internet is on auto pay and so is my car insurance 
Um, it is still pending, so I am not going to take that out. So technically this is gonna come out in the next unstuffing because I have not paid that yet. But the total for that was 171, oops, 16. Moving on to life insurance. It was 32.64, so I'll put all this here, 10, 20, 25, 30, 32, 33. My subscriptions. So first um, was car wash, and let me get my calculator for this. Car wash was 29. 99 29.99 I did $30 for that so this is all coming out 10 20 25 and 30 okay so with the actual subscriptions I had for the week and again I'm sorry I didn't specify so this is for what I'm unstuffing is for the second paycheck so the 22nd um, through today November the 6th so Hulu went up a bit um, to oops, 14, 12. Um, let me let me not add in car wash yet. So 14, 12, and then my Patreon membership was 5.37. Apple was 108. My YouTube Premium, which will probably be changing was 32.57 and then that is it so i will be taking out 53 dollars here it should be 61 my um amazon subscription won't be coming out until i think tomorrow so 20 40 50 uh 60 and i will give myself back seven dollars and that is correct because my Amazon is $7.59 and I round up to $8. So I will go ahead and add back in the $29.99 from the car wash. And then the last subscription that I have included in this budget is going to be Fight Camp, which is a boxing membership. We have a um, boxing, we have a boxing bag. It comes with the gloves and trackers and then um, an app that has videos that you can follow along with. So that is $42. So now plus 42, 125.13. I am going to go ahead and put in the $8 from Amazon. So $133.13. But again, that Amazon is not going to come out until tomorrow. All right, moving on. So that is it for all of the actual bills. Moving on into the expenses, gas. Let me actually get my expense tracker that I had to write down because the printer isn't working. I do have an expense tracker freebie that is linked in the description box below that I typically use and it looks like this but you can get it linked down below it's black and white. All right so for the expenses um oh you know what I already did I already took out gas so never mind. <laughs> So I used, but I did, um, the actual is going to be 50. The actual for these are actually going to be what I budgeted for. Um, you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. No, it's not. <laughs> so 50, I did budget for it. Um, and I've already taken everything out. So this is going to wait until the condensing household I do need to take some out of household and groceries I did but uh, this was actual and so was this but I think groceries 
I know I didn't use it for $200, but household, I had some expenses. I got some body wash and then I got shampoo for the house at 11 and 26 dollars so 11 plus 26 so we're gonna pull out 37 dollars from household i'm gonna move this over some so 20 30 40 and i will give myself back three dollars so this is um the grocery money the rest of the grocery money i should say because i already spent a hundred dollars from the uh first paycheck of october so this is the, re the remaining one hundred dollars um i don't have an envelope for that because i was going to the bank to get out cash still even with me transitioning to use prop money but I'm using my credit card for pretty much, pretty much everything except for giving. Um, so I will eventually put in a envelope for groceries. So in household, we have two, three, four, five. All right, moving into groceries, I spent $72 of that. So I am going to have to change my actual here because I was going to go and get some more stuff today, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> so putting a hundred down and I need to give myself back $28, 25, six, seven, and eight. So I'm going to I'm going to do this groceries and household just so I know the difference between the two until I get a separate separate envelope and let me change this um I need to get some uh white out I only spent 172 out of groceries okay so then pets I did not spend on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to internet. Oh no, I did say that I'm going to, I'm going to condense everything and then I'm going to add, uh, what was left over in internet and what was left over in groceries to this buffer envelope. So moving on and everything else, the actual is going to be correct. I mean, the actual is going to be the same as what is budgeted. So let me go ahead and just do that really quick. Actually, let me not because I think, <laughs> okay, scratch that. We are going to <laughs> actually go through everything because I think I spent a little bit more for vacation and vacation actually is the 320 and Christmas is 110. Um, I think there's just a couple more dollars that was in my actual. So pause, we're going to come back to this. Going into the next binder that houses my unexpected and savings, car maintenance. We've got 255. So 125 and 130 is 255. So that's good. Emergency. We've got 120. So 60 and 60. Vacation actually is in another binder, but let me go into Christmas since Christmas is in here. And Christmas, it did get, oh, <laughs> let me cover that up. It did get the 110, so 50 and 60. I hope you guys are able to see all of this. If not, then I'll just zoom in while I'm editing. So these are good. Vacation, let's take a look. So on the 7th, I put in 262. This was a transfer, so that was not an actual deposit from my check. And then plus 60. 
so yeah it was three hundred and twenty two dollars so the actual was 322 for this and then I do believe the rest is the same but I'll go through all of them just to double check and then moving on to the last binder which is the fun <laughs> fun money binder for my guilt-free spending tithe Tithe, I need to take out $300. I did already do the 60 for the first paycheck and then $300 I did for the second paycheck. So 100, 200, 250, 300. Which leaves me with 20, 40, 60, 72. This will be given, but I think I'll explain maybe in the next video why there is some leftover but it will it will be given um personal let's go back to the tracker and then personal you guys i your girl was outside <laughs> so we have 35 i did a venmo for went out and had drinks with a friend of mine who graduated and we just put it all in one bill and then I just Venmoed um, her my portion. So I was doing a spending category that was $40. I was taking out cash for that, but I did just include the $40 in, in my personal. So this is personal. I just never changed this to personal. Hope that makes sense. So 25 for a lift ride because we are not drinking and driving. Personal here, I took a friend out for her birthday and I am covering my portion of the meal plus the tip plus $10 for parking at the parking garage. I picked her up and then let's see, personal went to Chili's with some friends and then I got myself a necklace. So we are going to be taking out $206 from personal. So 50, 100, 150, 170. Oh, I'm like, where's the rest of my money now? <laughs> 190 to 10. And I will give myself back $4. Hope I have enough. I don't so let me make change with this and I think I was supposed to make change with that ten dollars that I took when I took the seven dollars out of this binder I was supposed to make change with that so let me go ahead and make change with the five dollars first so five dollars give myself back these four dollars and because I took that $7 out already, I'm putting back $3 from that 10. So in personal, we still have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, $13. And I am going to go through my budget breakdown for the 7th and the 22nd, just to make sure that I budgeted what, my actual is what I budgeted. So I did 72 for October 7th paycheck and then I did 143 for the 22nd and then I am including the spending money which was a total of $80 for $40 for October 7th and then $40 for October 22nd. So okay so yes 295 Birthday I did not spend anything from here so that's good gifts the actual is correct I do have some money to pull out from gifts I'm sorry if I'm kind of all over the place <laughs> this is the first time I'm doing it this way so oh let me cross off everything from personal Before I get into gifts, oh no, so gifts. I gifted a friend of mine her son's birthday. 
I wasn't able to attend because I was out of town and she said that it was a Lego theme. So I went ahead and I got tickets to go to the Legoland Discovery Center and that was $64. And then um, again, my friend's birthday, I took her out for dinner and her portion of the meal was 55. I'm going to be taking out a total of $119 from gifts. We have 100 and I'll have to take out 50 and give myself 150 minus 119, give myself back 31. So we have 50, 100, 120, 130, 140, 141, still in gifts. Moving on to family time. So, oh, I told my friend when um, the the tickets that I gifted her for Legoland that I wanted to schedule a date so that me and my nephew can go with them. So I ended up getting us tickets and that was sixty dollars. So twenty, forty, fifty, fifty-five, and sixty. And we are going to be going um, not this upcoming weekend, but the next weekend so I'm looking forward to that because my nephew likes Legos as well and then now we are going to get the self-care which is going to be categorized actually as date night um, this is for, again for my friend's graduation y'all we did a whole weekend actually of celebrating her <laughs> so these transactions didn't get posted until a couple of days later so that I could pay them so that's why they are on this last paychecks instead of the first paycheck so 45 plus 40 plus 25 so 110 dollars is coming out of date night but I only have 100 in here, so I am going to take that 100 out, 50, 100, and then go to this next envelope, which I don't have a label for yet, but this is the self-care envelope. I had self-care broken down into hobbies, skincare, nails, all of that, but I decided to just kind of condense it and put it all in together because it was becoming a little bit too much for me. I might go back to it we'll see so i'm gonna take that ten dollars out of here and that'll leave me with 52 dollars for self-care so now we are going to go back really quick to the budget oh let me double check and you guys this is what i'm looking at so for october 7th I did $50 and then for the 22nd I did 100 so 150 it was what is the actual so that's where my numbers are coming from I don't want y'all to think I'm just pulling them out from thin air so since none of this changed this will still be 1094 so let's do the actuals the income 3612 and 30 cents my expenses I need to go back here and calculate for expenses was $1,665.87 and that's a difference of $55.13 so we saved $55 <laughs> um, this is good this is the same Oh no, this is going to be $552. So 
let's see. So there's a balance of 45.43. instead of it being a zero balance because I do zero base budgeting we saved a total of $45 all right so let me move this out of the way let's get into some condensing so car maintenance there is $855 in here and I do have oh excuse me I do have in the back here my $500 deductible that I saved up back in February. So we have 500, 600, 700, 800, 20, 40, 55. So I will exchange this for 50. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 55. And the goal for I like having um, having the money show through <laughs> instead of the placeholders in the envelopes but I have a plan of having this fully funded at $1,000 next up okay moving on to Christmas Christmas has 337 I already started Christmas shopping have you all so 100, 200, 50, 100, 20, 30, 35, 37. And then um, you guys, <laughs> I stopped doing the 100 envelope challenge. Um, I got it up to 1,828. I had to take out some money. I did. Uh, the last thing I added was from another challenge that I stopped 122 so we are sitting at $1,135 and I do have a plan for this I'm not gonna do any savings challenges through the end of the year but I do have a plan for this and I will share that in um, my cash stuffing video that is it for this binder um I don't think I have anything in vacation now I just have 60, so 10 in flights and 50 in hotel. 50 is in hotels because I have a hotel reservation for my holiday, my work, my works holiday party um, at the beginning of December. So, and then I do have my passport and global entry. I have 150 in hand currently because I do need to get my global entry renewed, and I actually need to get on that ASAP. All right, moving into the fun money binder tithe did I have anything that needed to be condensed uh, yes I can do 50 so 72 personal 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 13. My birthday has 80. That's as condensed as it can get. Gifts. I'll do, I should leave this 50, 50, 70. 80, 90. Oh, sorry. I thought this was um, 100. Wait, 50, 100, 20, 30, 40. I thought it was 150. So put that down for 100. And then take these two tens for 20, 141. I don't think I could do anything for here. No. 52 and then the last envelope is my annual and this has 189 this is in my high yield savings account as well 
but this is as condensed as it can be 150 70 85 yeah all right I am going to go back to my rent binder I'm sorry my bills binder <laughs> going to first condense this so five nine eleven let me put this down actually two four six eight ten so that is 17 I'll put this over to the side for now because that is going to go into my buffer envelope um, this should be good but let me just double check. It should be 171. Oh, obviously not. <laughs> so 100, 20, 40, and 50. 10, 15, 20. So 150, 71. And again, it's pending in my credit card. And I can't pay that until tomorrow. So I don't take anything out until it's actually paid. Uh, subscriptions it's good at eight dollars on Amazon that will come out tomorrow yes 20 40 45 50 55 what I'm going to do is first put this down for 50 and then I'm going to put this five dollars in my buffer because I want to keep my gas I don't want to roll over anything in my gas Household, I think it only had like three dollars. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm lying. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. So we'll do five and then this 25, 27, 28. I'm gonna put in buffer as well. Pets has 30 so I'm going to put this down for 20 all right so let me get this together so we have a total of 20 30 35 40 45 47 49 50 is that right 20 30 35 40 45 47 49 50 yes so put that down for 50 so we have a total of 50 dollars that is going into the buffer which is now at one, two, three, four, four fifty, five hundred and five dollars. So because we have five hundred in buffer now, I will hopefully <laughs> hopefully I can find a five hundred dollar placeholder. Again, my printer isn't working, so let's see. Okay, I don't think I have one. Darn it. So what I'll do for now is I will use these placeholders, one, two, three, four, five, just so that, because I'm recycling all of this um, uh, prop money, I only bought like one package worth and I need to use this for my, can, uh, my cash up. So one, two, three, four, five hundred and five and this prop money is from Saving with Shalanda here on YouTube. This prop money, I got it from Etsy at the Honey Lion Shop. I don't know if you guys can see that. I will have all of this linked in the description as well. And you guys, that will do it for the video. I hope it wasn't too long. I hope I was detailed enough. And we'll see if it's too long and I will break it up by doing just an unstuffing and a closeout or just a closeout and then an unstuffing and condensing but these are my favorite videos to see i am going to incorporate doing an unstuffing and condensing with each paycheck so there you have it you guys thank you 
so much for being here. Thank you to my new subscribers. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey. And you guys take care of yourselves this weekend. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.